Or is it handmaidens? Yeah. Or would it be royal servants? Are you busy, Thaumaturge Viki? We bring delicious foods, both foreign and crafted by Shaman Monsieur Le Chef. Oh, thank you. Just put them in my mouth for me. <laughs> <sighs> We bring healing herbs. Things are excellent. Uh, thank you. We know much of the eight magics, Thaumaturge Viki. Uh, just Belinda, please. We could offer you what we know of them. But this comes at a price. Our kingdom suffers, and yours is unprepared to yet send aid. Any aid, but you. Thaumaturge Belinda, please, come, come with, with us. us. think she's an animal. Remember, they're not all blood siblings. Or I don't think so. Maybe. Oh.
That's what I was thinking. I'm so sorry. I can't. But I have obligations here. Your kingdom has obligations to us. We have been nothing but helpful in your times of need. Your king has chosen to snub us instead of send even one of her far more than average number of mages to assist us. Crot! Our people are dying, and yet your king is happy to just let her assistants run her kingdom, while the only decisions she makes are to fail to fulfill the very first treaty she made as monarch. So tell me again where your obligations lie. Oh boy. I mean, I see his point very well, but I also get why she should stay, but I see his op- I- This one is a torn one. I think she should go, just so that she keeps their treaty safe, even if Prude is not able to be in the mindset to be able to help. Yeah, I agree with you. I'll go. Wonderful. We must start with the preparations. Thank you. I'm still a horse. Now may be a good time to stop. No, I'm fine. Tara, we aren't even riding you anymore, and that form seems to be tiring you out. Huh? When did you two get off? When you started going slower than walking. Still, it's impressive you kept that pace for so long. Yes, I imagine most horses would have stopped long before. Were... were we followed? I don't think so. No. Good. Good. I was worried my father would be on our trail. I don't think we could have dealt with him. You're related to that thing? That explains a lot. I don't know why he didn't follow us, but he must have had something more important than us to capture his attention.
I think we should tell her what happened with the sword. I think she should know. Maybe she'll have some insight of why her dad was so freaked out by the sword. Tara, there's something you should know. You sound really severe. Oh, what's up? It's about sword. Is it that I'm the most amazing sword you've ever seen? Mm. Perfectly balanced. With an edge so razor sharp, I could cut through steel like it were butter, and butter like it were air. Swords c Scrape through that battle with Merry Nick. Your father is quite the warrior, Terra. Sword was very useful. <laughs> I could have told you that. He helped me so much after I escaped from my father's dungeon. Your father's what? Well, that's interesting. Something wrong? Oh, no, just composing myself. My story begins. Oh, come on. There we go. The lovely Terra. You are every bit as lovely as described, and seem Every bit as sad as one might expect. I am here to kill your father. I was just checking to see if I had to do the same to you. I had to see how far he had taken your corruption. Stay silent. Well, I don't know what ask for help means. 
because, I mean, if you're asking him for help, that's one thing, but if you're trying to ask for your father's help, that's another thing. So, I mean, like, I think we should leave her father out of it, because he seems like a pretty bad dude. But I don't know. It's like between stay silent and ask for help if I knew what ask for help meant. with us for help. Please. Oh, please. He's a monster. Please don't be your father. Funny. I was expecting Stockholm Syndrome. What is Stockholm Syndrome? That's how she got the sword. It's a tendency for one to... She got the sword from this guy, but given enough time, we should take the girl and go. Are you ready to walk? I can use the candle nearby. We can't leave the girl. I'll protect the girl. It's our obligation to get her out of here before we start. Probably. Come with us to <coughs> They sent a grey guard after me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her dad's evil. They should have known it was not enough. Oh, good. I was worried I was going to have to fake being inert. Too bad you're no match for him. Not if Flicker wasn't. Toby! Toby! is my command. I just hope this doesn't kill you. Explain the dungeon thing. Her father kept her in a dungeon and trained her to the point of cruelty for roughly 30 years. He would occasionally parade her at a meeting of villainous types that me and Flicker were still in the middle of identifying before he died. Not much to say unless you really want to tear open old wounds.
It's okay. This is where the fun part begins. Fun? Well, I suppose I could tell you more about my life after escaping. Tara, you don't have to. No, please. This is the good part of my memories. What do you mean I have to kill it to get meat? Where exactly did you think meat came from? Meat... trees? Or... something, I don't know. You really have lived a sheltered life. I promise to never kill again unless I absolutely must. I refuse to eat this. Well then, let it go. We can make some vegetable soup or something. Why don't I just eat whatever you eat? I don't think you can digest what I eat, girl. Why can't I eat that? Did your father train you to turn into animals? No. Then we're probably going to have to work on that. If you want to digest grass. Oh. What should I eat then? Just follow my lead. And so, Sword brought me to a nearby village. That's where I got my first job. You pay her in room and board? Pretty girl like that? Almost entirely. She accepts a little bit in wages, but she only eats vegetables, too. Only vegetables? Light and shadow, they can grow like that off a of rabbit food? Keeping her about must be cheaper than the dirt in me boots. If the dirt in your boots made me half as much as she does on a slow night, you might be right. <sighs> Sword, are you sure I have to make them this big? <laughs> I don't really get it either. Seems like they'd only get in the way, but males of this species like them like that. Ugh. Once we have enough money to move on, I'm going to keep them at a more reasonable size. Do what you will. Just keep collecting tips. We'll be out of here in no time. So that's where you got the bar wench thing from. Bar maid. How long did you do that? Only a few weeks. We got lucky and a group of soldiers passed through. Soldiers tip a lot better than farmers. Then we moved on to a larger city. You skipped the part with the dead horse. Dead horse? I feel I should warn you. In your current form, you will likely be mistaken for a boy. Oh my, that's foul. Breathe through your mouth. It should help. Oh god. Oh, no, it's in my mouth. Oh, I can't taste it. <laughs> oh, I have been told that worked. I don't have much experience with such things. I am but a sword, after all. It smells like horse, only rotting. A dead horse! Let's go beat it! Why would I want to do that? Oh, my apologies. Otherworldly euphemisms. Still, you should examine it. You may be able to figure out how to transform into a horse by examining the organs. Stop, stop, stop! 
skip over this part. I can't listen to it. Sword, I need your help. What is a, a, a penis supposed to look like? Stop. You skipped too much. Why are we discussing penises? Oh, sorry. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever done in my life. But did it help? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. I think I may be able to turn into a horse now. Turn into a what now? <laughs> you look quite the mess. You're a little late to be saving that horse, though. I... I'm sorry. I... I don't even know what I'm doing. I can kinda tell. My name's Rosen, by the way, but everyone calls me Rose. Let's go find you a wash basin. So, are you from around here? Uh, not really. I'm just traveling. Are you an ex-soldier or something? Not exactly. Didn't think so. You're too much of a pretty boy to have been a soldier. I'm a traveling swordsman, but I'm not a soldier. I figured it was something like that with the blade at your hip. Thank you, by the way, for trying to save Iricard. I really didn't do anything. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm just glad to see someone cared about him. Dad dismissed his death so easily. Stay right there. I'll grab some water and we'll fill a basin for you. What should I do? About what? The girl is making me feel all funny. <laughs> oh, you're attracted. I could tell she felt similarly. She did? Did your father teach you anything about courting? Nothing that makes sense in this situation. Okay, try to... Act naturally, compliment her, and if things progress to an intimate stage, well, I, I doubt things will progress so far so quickly. You still haven't told me your name. And take off your shirt, it's covered in blood. Done it there, girly. You're in very good shape for a wandering type. Most fellas roam through here aren't half as nice to look at. Tell her you work out. I, uh, w work out. Oh no, you have blood on your pants, too. Take them off. I can wash them if you like. Sword! I need your help. What is a... a... a penis supposed to look like? Remember those mushrooms we saw the other day? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Well, I hate to be forward, but... You look as interested as I feel. Later on, we need to discuss scale. Do you need help? Mm, 
Not right now. I think... I think I want this. Okay, I'm going to dull my senses a bit. I have no interest in this part. <laughs> Wait, so your first time... Your first time was as a boy? Yeah, mushrooms. <laughs> At least you knew you liked girls. <laughs> Elena, don't be a bitch. I can't. I can't help it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Plus, she owes me after using my appearance to flirt with you in the bath. Oh, goddess. I needed that laugh. I think that's enough backstory for now. Ugh, I'm sorry. I, I really am. If it makes you feel any better, I can tell you about my first time. Pretty much the same thing. Jumped a boy. Must have been half my size in the loft of my family's barn. His name was Judd, and he was the only boy interested in me. But he must have been five foot nothing and skinny as a blade of grass. He finished so quick. I didn't figure out what an orgasm was until I hired a man at the Red House in Ryuja. There. Now you know my first and second times. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. I forget Ash finds boys gross. Hmm. Huh. Is that why you asked me to come with you? You didn't think to ask that for the last few months? No. We asked you to come with us because we needed the guard, and to be honest, I felt I owed you some help with your career after the whole bathhouse thing. No freaking kidding. I was not expecting it to go that far. Like, I knew that there would be, like, innuendos and stuff, but I didn't expect it to go that far. <laughs> big. I'm glad to come. I did so for the exact reason you assumed I would want to. Thanks, as well, for not being so weird about us. Most people don't handle mages, let alone changelings, so well. I already told you. It's never really bothered me. I just kind of wish both of you weren't vegetarians. I'd like a little more meat in our rations. Well, then. 